right, so every day you have a, a start time and you have an end time. And they actually give you a dedicated time to leave when you're coming off of lunch. And we know that. So basically the morning stands on its own and the afternoon stands on its own. And so we left at car number, today we were car number 13. So the rule of thumb is you take the start time plus whatever your car release is, 13. And so the start time after lunch was 12.55. You add 13 to that, that's 108. Turns out that I wrote down 118, which means that we technically started 10 minutes late than we should have. Total mathematical navigational error on that one. And so from our standpoint is, I gotta take ownership on that. But from, from the release time, it really is. It's a great way for us to be able to fully understand what we need to do each and every day. We run in the sportsman's class this year. We're, it is for our first year, but we had a little hiccup at the beginning, so we're still running. We're running as sportsmen. We have a 1965 Mercury Comet Caliente convertible. Uh, today was a great day. We ran a smooth run all morning long after lunch, and then we had a long transit to the gorge. We went up, we went down, we went around, went and did it again to get back. <laughs> Me and my friend Craig Rubright have done this race for seven years now and we built this car especially to do the great race. It's a 37 Ford. It uh, has done a great job. I think this is the 68th day of racing we've had with it with no breakdowns whatsoever. So it's just a pretty solid car. We work on it all the time back home and work on it on the road so far. Today we had a wonderful day. The sights were beautiful. We saw the uh, bridge at the gorge. We went across the bridge, under the bridge, back around and on the other side of the bridge. So we, it's just gorgeous down there. I'd love to see it in the uh, fall. Saw rafters in the water, but uh, it's just been a marvelous day. Perfect weather and a uh, good time to be on the road, seeing America. Today was fantastic. We had a pretty good day. We didn't max anything. Uh, we're, we're, I had a lot of fun driving today. I thought the best part of the rally so far was in Missouri when we had a great day in Missouri. The weather was wonderful, the roads were wonderful, and we just had a great time. We're here in beautiful downtown Beckley, West Virginia at the end of day seven of the 2021 Hemings Motor News Great Race presented by Haggerty Drivers Club. We've got a new winner for this year. First time this year that they've won a stage and that's Doug and Howard Sharp in their 1916 Hudson Hill Climber. We've been seven out of the nine days, started in San Antonio, We've been seven days, we got two more to go. These guys are late chargers. They've won three times before. They won the whole race three times before. So they've got two days to make up some ground and try to get to the top again. But man, great job, Doug. Thank you very much, Jeff. Howard. Thank you, Jeff. Hudson, give uh, Howard the plaque for winning the stakes. Hi, my name's Howard Sharp. This is my son, Douglas Sharp. And we're driving a 1916 Hudson. And it's been a real struggle for us this year, trying to get one of these plaques. We finally won it today on day seven. And uh, this poor car here was right to the floorboard all day. I, and the oil's just running right out of it. But you know what? If that's what it takes to get this plaque, then we're gonna go ahead and do it again.